Murphy sign and Corbusier's law. Uh, we know better the definition of Murphy sign and Corbusier's law, but I am here to clear make a difference between these two uh, sign and law and between uh, the basic uh, philosophy or basic principle of these two uh, principle. Actually, when there is a question of palpable gallbladder, number one, number two, tenderness present in the right hypochondriac region or not, okay. And number three, the patient has jaundice or not. Actually, this Murphy sign and Corbusier's law act on the presence or absence of these three points palpable, palpable gallbladder present or not, tenderness present or not in the right hypochondriac region, and jaundice is present or not. Okay. In Murphy sign, we know when we place our uh, left thumb over the right hypochondriac region just below the right coastal margin along the right uh, mid clavicular uh, line and patient is asked to take a deep breath in patient feel a sharp pain and uh, hold the breath at the middle of the inspiration or at the very top of the inspiration as because when we press our left uh, thumb in into the patient's abdomen and when patient take uh, breath in, the inflamed gallbladder touch the parietal uh, peritoneum that is pushed in by our finger. So patient feel sharp pain. So why patient feel sharp pain? As because there is tenderness. Ten, there is pain is present. Pain is present in the right hypochondriac region, and patient is usually not ectric. So jaundice not present, and gallbladder of course not palpable not palpable okay and the condition Murphy sign is positive in actually in acute cholecystitis so Murphy sign positive in acute cholecystitis the that is tenderness is present in the right hypochondriac region jaundice not present and gallbladder not palpable and because it is a acute case there is no enough time for the gallbladder to be distended to be palpable okay so if Murphy sign is positive acute cholecystitis if Murphy sign is negative in the same setting while you think that it may be a case of acute cholecystitis so what are the differential diagnosis of acute cholecystitis when the Murphy sign will be found negative number one pyelonephritis acute pyelonephritis of course pyelonephritis number two choledocolithiasis that means a stone in the common bile duct when the patient should but must have jaundice due to uh, obstetric jaundice of course you know and number three cholangitis cholangitis in cholangitis of course patient must have obstetric jaundice and tenderness or pain in the right hypochondriac region may be present so these three are the differential diagnosis of acute cholecystitis and in this case in three case Murphy sign is negative and in this case Murphy sign is positive so this is about Murphy sign now come uh, to the point Corbusier's law you know the Corbusier's is a great uh, surgeon Swiss surgeon uh, who uh, at first dictated or stated this uh, principle actually what is Corbusier's law the definition you know better in the presence of a non-tender minded non-tender palpable gallbladder the jaundice and this jaundice is called painless jaundice painless jaundice is not due to gallstone minded not due to gallstone rather this palpable non-tender gallbladder in a jaundice patient is due to other pathology. Now the question what are the other pathology? Other pathology number one is the carcinoma head of the pancreas. Carcinoma head of the pancreas. Okay. Number two, uh, stenosis. Stenosis of ampulla of better. Ampulla of better. You know what is ampulla of better. And number three, it may be due to cholangiocarcinoma. Cholangiocarcinoma. Cholangiocarcinoma means the carcinoma of the common bile duct. And number four, it may be very unlikely, very rarely, uh, Ascaris lumbricoids form inside the common bile duct. It may be found sometimes. And uh, for five, it may be extrinsic pressure into the common bile duct, like lymph pedonopathy around the common bile duct. So these are the cause of positive Corbusier's law. When the gallbladder found palpable, think yourself. The common bile duct, distal part of the common bile duct is obstructed by some pathology like this, not due to uh, gallstone. 
common bile duct distal part of the common bile duct is obstructed by this pathology due to back pressure rise in the back pressure rise in the pressure in the common bile duct the gallbladder become distended so it is become palpable when you examine for the gallbladder in the right hypochondrial region you will find a globular mass in the right hypochondrial region and there is no ten tenderness as because gallbladder itself not inflamed and there is no portion of inflammation here is no portion of inflammation so non tender palpable and of course there will be jaundice due to common bile duct obstruction there will be obstructive jaundice and this jaundice is not associated in any pain so it is called painless jaundice so a painless jaundice with palpable non tender gallbladder should not be the term is not should not be gall stone rather it should be malignancy most importantly carcinoma of the head of the pancreas stone uh, sorry and cholangiocarcinoma actually uh, the corbusier's law is intended for to uh, indicate the carcinoma of head of the pancreas and cholangiocarcinoma and maybe due to other cause like stenosis of the ampulla of vater escaris lumbricors or another point is cholangitis cholangitis we know in cholangitis inflammation of the common bile duct may lead to stenosis of the common bile duct and that may lead to palpable non tender and gallbladder in a painless jaundice patient okay so uh, this is the corbusier's law and uh, the finally i want to put one exception so what is the exception in corbusier's law if there is a double a stone think yourself double stone one stone in the this is the gallbladder okay and cystic duct this is the cystic duct and this is the common bile duct and this is the cystic duct okay think here is a, a stone the impacted in the uh, cystic duct and another a stone in the common bile duct okay due to the presence of this stone in the common bile duct patient will have jaundice okay and due to impaction of the uh, cystic duct by the stone here the gallbladder chronically will be distended so it will be palpable and it may be non tender in chronic chronic state the gallbladder may be tender so the in this case when there is two impaction two stone this is called double stone double stone one stone in the cystic duct another stone in the common bile duct due to common bile duct patient is jaundice ectric and due to cystic duct obstruction the gallbladder become palpable and it may be non tender so this is the exception of corbusier's law when a palpable non tender gallbladder may be found in a painless jaundice patient okay but usual law is the non tender palpable gallbladder in a jaundice patient is due to cause other than gallbladder and what are the cause causes malignancy thank you thank you very much